Welcome to Easy Academic. In this episode in the Linear Algebra series, we'll be talking about solving the A equals CR system. So in order to solve the A equals CR system, you must first understand how to reduce a matrix A into its row echelon form or reduced row echelon form. So the essence of solving the A equals CR system is finding matrices C and R based on the pivots in the row echelon form or reduced row echelon form of A. So say we have a matrix A and we've converted into A row echelon form, which can take on the form of some matrix uh, with entries uh, such as this. It doesn't really matter what the entries are, but just for illustration's sake, we say that these X's are the pivots each of these columns with the corresponding pivot will be used to transform into the matrix C. So C is a matrix of columns where each column is from the original matrix A, not the row echelon or reduced row echelon form A, but the original matrix A where the pivots exist in the row echelon form. So this is the column of pivot one which will denote column P1, the column of pivot 2, and the column of pivot 3. And if this is unclear, we'll work through an example um, later in the video. And then to find R, we find all of the non-zero rows in row echelon form. Now, unlike finding C, R is directly related to the row echelon or reduced row echelon form. So R is simply a, it's a singular, uh, it's a matrix comprised of the rows of the, it's a matrix comprised of the rows in row echelon form that are non-zero. So this is row one, which is non-zero, row two, which is non-zero for however many non-zero rows there are. So let's work through an example to illustrate how to find C and R in the system A equals CR. So let's say we have the matrix A, which is a four by five matrix. Our first step would be to reduce this into row echelon form. So if you'd like to attempt to solve this by yourself, you can pause the video here before I reveal the row echelon form of this matrix. So this is the row echelon form of the matrix A we can make a few key observations. First, we observe that there are two pivots in the first and second row. And second, we observe that these two rows, we observe that these two rows are both zero rows, meaning they will not be included when we find our final matrix R. And so first we'll find the matrix C. And again, we know that the pivots are in column one and column three. So that means we find column one and column three in the original matrix A, and these two columns constitute the columns of C. So we have C is equal to one, two, negative one, zero, zero, one, one, one. So this is our matrix C. R now is taken directly from the row echelon form of the matrix A. And so since we have two rows here that are both zero rows, we disregard them from the matrix R. And so R is constituted of one, two, zero, three, one, and zero, zero, one, one, five. And so what this means is that A can be represented as the multiplication of the matrices C and R. Let's demonstrate this by multiplying out C and R. So if we take C multiply by R, we obtain this. So our final matrix should be of dimension 
4 by 5. And so the first entry into this matrix is 1 times the first column. And then 0 times the second column, so we'll leave that as 0. The second entry is 2 times the first column. And again, 0 times the second column. The third entry is 0 times the first column and 1 times the second column. Fourth entry is 3 times the first column. plus 1 times the second column. And the final column is 1 times the first column. Plus 5 times the second column. Expanding this out, we have the first column is 1, 2, negative 1, the 0. Second column is 2, 4, negative 2, 0. Third column is 0, 1, 1, 1. The third column is 3, 7, negative 2, 1. And the fifth column is 1, 3, 4, 5. Now if we compare this to our original matrix A, we find that this matrix is indeed equal to our matrices C and R multiplied by one another. So this concludes the introduction to linear algebra series. If you have any questions about this concept in particular or any concept in the series, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, if you found this useful, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.